Welcome to lesson 14 of my note reading crash course. I'm just going to call your attention to three bass clef notes that we have learned so far, which are the anchor notes in the bass clef. This one on its own special ledger line is middle C. The note two lines down is bass F, comes out from F clef. One, two, three, C is a low bass C. And then I like to think of this next low note at the very bottom as the ground. So remember our flagpole F from the treble staff, and down here is the ground. So we have this note G, and it's found at the very bottom of the bass staff. So this helps us anchor these two new notes that we're about to learn. So here we have G, which is our ground floor G, and I'm going to play it four times. So let's find it again, middle C, one, two, three C, and then if this is even lower, it's the bottom of the bass staff. One, two, three, four. And we do know that if a note is in a space and it's touching this line, that these notes are neighbors. So here we have G, A, 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 this A being a neighbor of the G. So if this is the ground and we're underwater, this A could be an anchor sitting on the ground. That's a nice little trick to remember. G, A, A, A. So those are the two notes we're going to learn in this lesson, and now we have learned all of the notes in the bass staff. So beginning together, let's play our fourth finger on the note A. Ready, go. A, two, three, four. And now let's play the note G with our fifth finger. Ready, go. G, two, to turn our attention now to the written music for lesson 14 and it's a simple um, exercise involving the five fingers without any hand position shifts and at the very end we are going to play a triad so maybe you want to get that ready right now with your five three and one That's these three notes here G B and D all right I'm ready are you ready let's go one two ready go a, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. G, A, B, C. D, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. G, G, hold, two. G, two, middle D, hold, triad, two, three, four. Good work. So practice this until you can play it steadily and with good coordination. And then please also recopy this exercise onto blank staff paper. Recopying these drills onto your own paper is really the best way to internalize your learning. So playing it, looking at it, talking about it, and writing it down. That will fully help you remember all of the notes that we're learning together. We only have one lesson left, and it's lesson 15, which is just a review um, uh, of all of the notes we've learned in the treble and bass clefs.